thank you so much for joining us. It's Friday, it's November the 7th, and like we do every Friday, it's time to talk to our night sky guy, Andrew Fazekas. How are you today, Andrew? Hi, Emily, doing great. Good, now we are all dying to know, a lot of parts, some, a few parts across the country are dealing with some wintry-like weather and some cloudy skies, but for those of us that are going to see clear skies this weekend, what can we expect? Well, yeah, you know, I've been watching, uh, and I can see that it's pretty unsettled weather uh, in many parts of the country, but we're going to talk about a sky-watching event that even if you're clouded out, say, uh, tonight or maybe on the weekend, this is something that will last until middle of next week into Wednesday, so you'll have a, a fair chance to see it. Okay. What, we're, what we're talking about is a meteor shower. It's called the Torrid Meteor Shower. It's not very well known, but this year may be a particularly good year for it because we might be in for some fireballs that it can produce. And these are very spectacular streaks across the sky. They look like basically something is on fire as it goes across the sky. And it's, so for some people, it's pretty scary. And it's been usually called the Halloween fireballs because uh, it's so close to trick-or-treating time. And uh, basically, if you go out uh, after sunset, starting tonight uh, and into Wednesday, uh, and especially after 11 o'clock is when they kick in, you look towards the eastern horizon. That's where the constellation Taurus de Bull is right now in our skies. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where the, the, the meteors seem to come from. They seem to streak out from uh, the Taurus de Bull constellation. And that's where it gets its name, the Taurids from the constellation where they seem to come from. So you don't need telescopes, you don't need binoculars. The best way to see it is just with your eyes. And if you're lucky, you'll see some fireballs. And like I said, they've been actually some, some, uh, some uh, sky watchers who have already seen these happen. This is a picture taken uh, from uh, a European sky watcher in Slovakia. I've also gotten the reports from uh, here in Ontario uh, in the Lake Huron area where last night they've seen some fireballs. And this was taken just last night, actually, this picture. Really spectacular streaks across the sky. Well, that's good to know to see if uh, that it is going to last for at least a couple of days. Now, we're talking about meteors in our Cosmic Quiz, and I, I kind of chuckled when I read it, but, but go ahead. Tell us, tell us what our Cosmic Quiz is for this <laughs> week. Yeah, we're talking about meteors. How big must a meteor be to reach the ground? Can it be as big as a house, <laughs> as big as a car, as big as the size of your fist, or as big as a penny? So basically, this is the smallest size of a rock that can actually make it all the way to the ground without burning up in the air. Okay, well, I hope it's not as big as a house because <laughs> that's a bit frightening. <laughs> okay, now in terms of space news, what do you have for us this weekend? Well, the, it seems like the Hubble Space Telescope is back in business and NASA is just beaming with pride and they released this beautiful picture actually from, from the Hubble. Here you can see some photographs of the Hubble back and, and it's slated for repair next year, but even without it being repaired right now, it's producing some fantastic pictures. Here's the one, the first primary picture that it's released since it's back in business. It looks like a 10, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You've got the, uh, like the number 10. There's two galaxies. The one on the left looks like a number one. The one on the right looks like a zero, and they form a perfect ten. And yeah. these are two galaxies, get this, 400 million light years away. That's pretty far. Yeah, it is really That's far. And far. it's just spectacular galaxies, <laughs> uh, just showing the color and the tapestry. It's a really beautiful sight. Wow, that is really amazing. Absolutely gorgeous shots. Uh, keep in mind, you can see all of these shots on Andrew's website. We'll get to that in just a sec. But first, okay, Andrew, enough of me chuckling. What is, what's the answer to the Cosmic <laughs> Quiz this week? So basically, how big it must a meteor be to actually reach the ground? The answer, believe it or not, is C, the size of your fist. Really? Anything smaller than, than, than a fist or, say, a baseball-sized rock will totally break up in our upper atmosphere. So that's the minimum size is a fist-sized rock. Okay, well, you know what? That makes me feel a little bit better to know that uh, meteors the size of houses aren't making it to the Earth, right? <laughs> yeah, well, let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Andrew. As always, it has been a pleasure, and we'll be talking to you next Friday. You bet. Now, for all the information uh, on today's interview with Andrew, all you have to do is head to his website. It's www.thenightskyguy.com. Now, unfortunately, it is going to be slightly cloudy for you throughout southern Manitoba and in through northwestern Ontario through the overnight tonight. But for the most part, through southern Ontario, 
oh, the sky should be okay. So if you can get out and catch this meteor and fireball show, I would definitely recommend it. And through Alberta, again, in Saskatchewan, skies are going to be clear. So get out and take a look if you can.